got my glasses on. Welcome back. Hi, how are you? Hey, Pam. Hey, Dinah. How are you? <laughs> I'm Dinah. I'm from The Knitting Place. You're tuning into The Knitting Place podcast. Number nine. Number nine. And uh, we're going to do a little VKL haul, uh, VKL show recap. Show recap, really. Okay. Uh, you can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, The Knitting Place on Facebook, and The Knitting Place on Ravelry. And you can find me as Pam Sapp on Ravelry and on Instagram. All right, then. Let's start. Well, Vogue is over. Take a big <laughs> sigh. It's over. <laughs> you have to understand we're coming at it from a different perspective as uh, a yarn shop that was exhibiting there, not as um, necessarily as um, a yarn shop attending. Just attending. You know, not just attending. I don't mean that. We didn't really have the luxury of walking the aisles during the day. Well, I have a you know, Getting, this, this um, was, was our sixth year at Vogue. And I feel that for me personally, I saw the least this year than I did any other year. I didn't even hit the fifth floor. My it, it feet was a, never went down on that fifth floor. It was, <laughs> a, I mean, if you didn't encourage me to run. Yeah. Um, well, I sent I, you down. Right. I, I wouldn't have had a chance. Sunday, yeah. But. That being said, it still was very busy. Yeah, we were so grateful. We ha we hardly had any time to step away from the booth, but we did manage to get a few things. <laughs> Just a few things. Just a um, few. Actually, you have your things. I don't. Okay, well, we, I'll show you. But while Pam's getting her things, I did stop off at the Stephen and Penelope booth. I needed um the new Stephen West West Knits book number two. So I did pick that up, and we hope to have some of those copies here in the shop soon. So, yes. of course, mine is autographed, but there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and this was one bag that we got. This is from Junkyard and Shelly Can, who were there. Um, Notice the cab. The cab. What does the it New say? The New York City cab. It says 2018 Vogue Knit Live Shelly Can and Junkyard Yarns. Isn't that cute? And inside cute this project little bag, bag, I have a cute little pin. Look at this pin. This is a real special one. Vogue. I don't know if you're hitting it right. It's like a taxi cab with a <laughs> license plate that says Vogue VKL 2018. So that's a special pin. Love it. VKL 18, mm -hmm. it says. And of course, what's inside the taxi cab are balls of yarn, if you can <laughs> see that. There you go. So that was a special. Got a I told Diana we have to put a, a sock project in here. Something small for sure. Something small for sure. With our new flexi. Oh, where are those flexi tapes? Uh, you know, I don't think we have. They're here somewhere. You know, we came back from the shop. We unpacked or semi-unpacked. You mean you, we came back from the show? Yeah, from the show. That's what I mean. Yeah. And um, we still can't find those. <laughs> we did have some Notice we're not flexis. showing you the other side of the shop. <laughs> we did <laughs> this have. This is the clean side. <laughs> the straightened side. Yeah. We did have the flexies, those new, what do they call them, flexi flips? Flexi flips yeah. from Scassell. We're going to, we're planning on getting some more in. Yeah, they're hard they're to get. They're just sold out. Yeah, you can't get them. I actually spoke to them today. They had 500 on their first order and they only received 50 pieces. Really? Insane. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, this is also from the same booth. We snagged one of these, which says. Oh, this is going to be backwards, but it says, I feel like a craft day. I feel like. Craft, a craft today. A craft me. I feel like craft today. <laughs> so we, Neither one of us could read or speak. <laughs> <laughs> we could say we're reading it backwards, but no, we couldn't. So that was a fun, another fun thing. And, of course, this was the great thing, which was a lovely thing. It was the, what anniversary, Diana? What was it? 35th. 35th anniversary for Vogue. And this is the new edition of their Vogue knitting book. And um, I the was, ultimate knitting book. The ultimate knitting book. And I was watching um, Christy Glass, I think, was interviewing um, Trish, Trish Malcolm. Trish Malcolm. And mm -hmm. Trish was saying that there's 70 more pages in this one than in the, I think the last one was revised in maybe 1990 or 91, 92, the early I'm 90s. I'm not sure of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this one, it's, it's heavy. It's very heavy. And this one, I will be doing a lot of referencing to a lot of read just reading it did a nice job with it it's like reading a reference book i mean it's beautiful oh, you know what she said did you hear what she said the about illustrations the, the of the illustrations the yes. Yes. yes can you explain that you'll probably explain it better than i dina i don't know if you could see the diagrams here but these are all hand illustrated which is pretty incredible right 
So she said that back that. in 1990, they had a huge budget to produce this. And of mm -hmm. course now they don't. So what they did is they used the same sketchings that they, I think they sent them to England somewhere to be sketched. And, I think they had to, right, right, to match them. And to do that nowadays, forget about it. So the cost would Crazy. be prohibitive. So they used the same sketching. So it really is exciting. I'm excited to have that. So those are just a few things that. I also happened to pick up, excuse me, I have stuck in candy in my mouth and it's probably so rude. I picked up a copy of Nikki Epstein's. Um, oh, did you book. get that? I got that for Joan as a gift because she didn't come to the show and she loves to make these little hand toys and little creatures. So Nikki Epstein's new book, I don't know why, it's one square at a time, something like that, something about a square. Well, did they make the bear out of, they, they had these huge bears on display. I have a picture on my oh, phone. insert if, a photo. Yeah, I can send it to, you have it too, I think, right? These huge patchwork bears. But they, they were, were patchwork, beautiful. weren't they? Made, they were made out of squares, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. So... Joan was very gracious. Yeah, grateful so Joan was excited about getting that. So the weekend was, um, and the week leading up to the the show was was a taxing week too. You know, getting Setting everything up ready, and the kids, and mm -hmm. kidding things. So this year we did more kits. It was all we, about the kits this year, and right. a lot of people asked, "Well, what was your best seller?" And to be perfectly honest, I think. We sold everything it? that we took. We really did. I mean, there's some were better than others. There were some that were better than others. But there wasn't one item no, that we took. No, but everything sold. Everything yeah, sold. I think everything sold. What yeah. would you say was number one? I In think kits? it was the top three, I would say. I would say the um, Birds of a Feather was good. Mm -hmm. I would say the Tread Hat was good. The Swancho was Lauren, good. The Lauren Hat was good. Oh, right. The new one that I did. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Lauren Hat. I would say those were the, the Swancho kits. The Swancho kits. Very and well. even the... Uh, we had the kits for the comfort cardi from Andrew Malley. Yes. I mean, you have to remember those From are large, those are larger purchases for people too. So, you know, considering they did well, yep, we sold a lot. Anyway, mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who came. We had such a great time. It was nice to connect with um, people who subscribe and introduce themselves to us. And it was great to put a name to the face for and those people, who leave yeah, comments yeah, and people we see on the unboxings warmed our hearts. Right? So yeah. thank you so much for making a special trip and stopping us and introducing yourselves. It just really made it extra special. Yeah, that was fun. So, so what else can we say about Vogue? Anything else about Vogue? I'm like even thinking about Christmas and the holidays. Like we haven't right. been back. We haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been, it's been a while. while. It's been crazy. It was just before the holidays, just before we closed for Christmas and you know holiday break. It's funny how everything just kind of melts away, <laughs> fades into the background. We had that really cold, cold, cold weather. Well, I missed it, too. I wasn't here. Well, it was right after Christmas. It got very, very cold. I was up in Cooperstown, but it was even, it was as cold down here as it was in Cooperstown. It was about one degree where the wind, you know, it was feels That's like. so unusual for feels us. feels like 15 below, and it was one degree, three degrees. We when had we a, go skiing, the temperatures in Vermont are mm -hmm. like that. We had over bizarre. 10 days of single-digit weather, which for us is, you know. Did you get a lot of knitting done? <laughs> I did get a lot of knitting done. I mean, I did. I did the I did Lucy's thing. I did the, right. cat, the thing for Lucy, and I did the hat. Those were my first two projects in you 2018. Share them? Let's do uh, finished objects. Well, this is, um, I did this the day after Christmas. And what this is, it's a little cowl for Lucy. It's, um, my daughter wanted accessories, she said. And she said, I want a bobble cowl. So that's what we did. Very cute. Very yeah. sweet. We used um, a DK weight yarn. And uh, we put the bobbles in. We used Filatora, yeah. We really used Filatora, and we put the bobbles in. I knit it's these. So cute. I knit these in, but on the pattern that we wrote, we did it a little differently. Correct. We had this kitted up at Vogue, and we thought we were being very clever. We actually inserted the <laughs> bobbles. So all you had to do was tie the them on. Is. Do we have the kit somewhere? Um, I think there it's might be one somewhere. on the table somewhere. But it. that was very cute. You want to show them the matching hat? Oh, so then we decided you have to have a hat to go with the cowl. This was like the bomb. <laughs> How this, awesome is that? <laughs> and this was the hat, again, made out of the uh, Filatura Zara. And we put the pom-poms, the uh, little pom-poms That pom-pom pom -pom is huge. It's that like is a the big size of that. Pom -pom. That's so funny. Which kind of makes it, you don't have to have the pom-pom on the top, but I think that kind of makes the hat. Now, it's funny. I feel like the hat 
is more popular than the cow than the cow and i thought yeah. it would be the reverse so yeah. you never know what'll that's the other thing we pack all this stuff to take to vogue and we just never know right which is going to be which most will be the most popular right. which will we said that Thursday Beauty. night. We said we can't wait. You know, it's a couple a of nights we'll come back and say, "Gee, what was?" And the hat was more popular than the cowl was. Right, and it's a lot more labor intensive because we have to make more bobbles. Forty-five to be exact. So, exactly. <laughs> so this was this was actually a, you know that this was popular at the show. Yes, it was. You know, I think the hat. We sold out of them. Yeah, we, we did. sold out we of did. that we kit. Did. Mm -hmm. We did sell out of them. We sold out of that kit. So. Uh, What's next? But I, I think a big thing for us at the show was the Swan Show. There was a lot of interest in the yes, Swan Show well, because look at our Swan Shows, as you can see back here, we did a Swan Show knit along, and uh, we did it here in the shop. And our goal was to actually have them done for Vogue Knitting Live, and it was a lot of fun. We had a couple of weekly classes, and we talked about carrying your yarn and catching the floats and doing the magic loop. And it was just a lot of fun. Everybody did a different colorway, so everyone's was unique and different yeah. to yeah. This themselves. Was this is Dinah's. Dinah has the gray with the silver. Is that silver? That's silver, right? The gray, the silver, the black with and that the nice chartreuse that's in color. there. Yeah. And this one is Barbara's. Now, I used Kenzie from Scassell, and Barbara used Rios from Malabrigo, and hers is really lovely. She did a soft pink background and her accent color, so the, uh, the purpura, right? The, uh, there's a reflecting pool, and I think that's called English Rose yeah. mm -hmm. in hers. And, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a great knit. It's by Boyland Networks. Right. I'll put that in. And we had some kits at the show also. That Right. So that we made up kits for the Kenzie well. as well as mm -hmm. the Rios, right. and those got snatched up right. rather quickly. We had to right. come back to the shop and make mm -hmm. more. Right. So that's convenient that we live close by we're able to come back to the store restock and make more kits if we run out so the swan show was popular definitely too for the, that was popular uh, mm -hmm. so it's funny you think about the things that we finished i actually finished that back here in, after japan but yes. i took that while i was away i planned on knitting well well now let's have a little side discussion on on what happened to you while you were away oh well first of all I love to pack my knitting to go on vacation. We all, we all do, though. We all do, right? Talk about, I'll pack up my bag. Yeah. How many I projects do you six, take with you when I you go on six vacation? six projects. Right, and my right. husband's like, are you really going to knit through all six projects? Well, needless to say, I had my swan show. Thought I packed enough yarn to get me through the 10 days while I was away. And, of course, I ran out of one of the contrast colors. Which meant I couldn't knit any further. Now, mind you, Diana had a 15-hour flight back. Oh, yeah. I which got, she could no, have done, I mean, for a knitter, 15 hours. She can get a lot of knitting lot. done 15 hours. I mean, I did sleep, but well, I could have gotten a lot of knitting but done. But she couldn't knit on her swan show because she ran out of yarn. Right. So, have no fear. Project number two. I took out my marbled hat, which I unfortunately didn't get done for Vogue. But that was another design that I was working on. And I thought that two skeins would be sufficient for that project. Nope. Nope. So I had to put that back in the <laughs> Scratch bag. Scratch it. <laughs> what was project number three? Project number three was you, this one. That was successful. This was successful. It's a one skein uh, pattern. It's called the Spidey Cowl. Spy, spiral. Spidey spiral. Spy, spidey Spiral Cowl. Excuse me. Spidey Spiral. Was, can't remember the... Who's the designer? I'd have to, I have it on my phone. Oh. I'll look um, it up. Thanks. So this is one skein of Rasta. I knit on the go. It was great. Left the hotel. I had my knitting in my bag. I forget we were walking one of the towns. That was a success. The spicy this was one, a right? Success. I wove in my ends. Bam. I think Danielle wants this one. Oh, she does. Yes, she does. So I may have to take it with me the next time I go visit her back at school. And uh, fairly easy. It was nice. Quick, for sure. It took me a couple of hours. The designer is Abby, A-B-I, Gregorio. Abby so we'll Gregorio. put that up in the uh, in the show notes. And so if you're interested in a cute cowl, you want to, well, I have this around my neck. It's going to be I too may much put that on. on. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll so it Pam will put it on. You'll see what, how it fits. It's a nice cowl. I like the way it stands up. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable. I did, mm -hmm. It is comfortable. I didn't bind off too loosely on this one because I really wanted it to stand up. Right. And I think it actually works. It's cute. Yeah. I love We've been spiral. eyeing this pattern on um, 
It's on, on your recommendation, actually. On, uh, mm -hmm. What do we say? Unravelry. Unravelry. And I really liked it. So, I, you know, it's just nice for a nice, chunky, you know, yarn. So that was project number three, success. Mm -hmm. Project number four brought me to, oh, I was flying home. I was on the plane. Yes. And I had my girl's best friend shawl. And I was worried that they would confiscate my signature needle, my circulars, and I did not want them to take that away from me. So I mm -hmm. transferred my stitches to a dreams. Very disappointed because while I was knitting <laughs> on the plane, the cord came off. What do you yep. mean the cord came off? The cord oh, detached. Oh, I thought you broke the needle. You didn't no. break the needle. No, you... the cord detached oh, from came from off the, the needle. Base. Yeah. Okay. Lost all my stitches. Okay. My there, husband's there goes like, that. on the <laughs> sitting in the seat next to me, he keeps he kept nudging me, and I'm like, listen, I was so frustrated. I had drop stitches, my needle broke. <laughs> it oh, was right. so frustrating. The needle, yeah. So I picked those back up. That went back in the project bag, and then my what sixth was the project one? was my second Athos. So that was good, except I was knitting on black, and it was getting too dark, and I needed to get some sleep. So I made way. I'm almost halfway done. So now what is the lesson that we learned? Us knitters know this lesson. You oh. must carry multiple projects when you're on vacation. Definitely. You have to. It's all about me. It's all about <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if you had one project and something happened? You I, lost, I would have died. Many, we've had stories before where someone died. is crocheting, right, and they lose the crochet hook. I mean, when you travel, if you're crocheting, you have to travel with multiple hooks. Oh, for sure. You need a backup plan. It's basically. very easy to lose a crochet hook. And then, honestly, I could have actually bought something. I, I think, how many shops did I tell you I went to visit in Japan? About three or four. Three or four. I was on a hunt for finding nice fibers, mm -hmm. Japanese-made mm -hmm. yarn. Mm -hmm. I went to about three or four shops. They were all Western shops. I found Hedgehog, things that I can carry in the States. Wool Folk, Brooklyn Tweed. I mean, you're all stuff that she has in her own shop. mill <laughs> yarn that I sell in my shop. You need to go to Japan for Thank it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. A little disappointed, yeah. but well, we always see these it. great Japanese. I know we've seen them here, even as Vogue, Vogue Live in the past, right? Where we yes, pick up those the, when the we, before we with were, all the books. yeah, before we were exhibiting ourselves. The most beautiful oh, crocheted crochet. instruction yeah. books. I actually picked some up. I still have yet to bring them in. Did you really? Yeah. Were they nice ones? Um. You know, they're different motifs. You know, you can't read the, obviously, the written word, but a crochet chart is um, universal, For, really. Absolutely. Pretty much so, so. And know. now we have Google Translate, so maybe we can read some of the patterns. <laughs> to try. <laughs> Another thing to try. Add it to the list, right, Diane? Yes. So anyway, those were my uh, those were my knitting adventures while in Japan. Yes, while well, talking about it. <laughs> and uh, you have some more finished objects. Do you want to talk about your Do hat? I have? Oh, oh, yes. This is in my second... 2018 project was this hat from uh, Andrea Maori. It's called Tincture. It's got a label on it from the show, but isn't this a great hat? It I love uses that hat. it uses look at, the look at that. It uses the mosaic technique, which is it looks like it's stranded, but it's just two rows and two rows, two rows love color it. one, two rows color two. And this was a fun you love knit. mosaic knitting. I love mosaic knitting. As a matter of fact, some of the ladies in the shop want to do a mosaic knit along. Whether they do this or they want to do, um, you know, there are some nice mosaic shawls, too. But maybe to start with the hat might be a good place to start, you know, with the hat. That's but right. isn't this lovely? Mm -hmm. I and love this it. I is, like those, the color combination. And this is the uh, Wool Folk Tove DK. We love our Wool Folk. Right, which is a lovely light yarn. And um, it really was fun, fun, fun to knit. It went very quickly. So that was my second project of 2018. That's Fun. awesome. Yep. Well, I designed a new hat. This was part of our Vogue Live collection. Mm -hmm. um, this is called the Loren hat. I don't know if you could see it, but the cables go sideways. Mm -hmm. I'll slip it on. Yep. This was real popular at the show. Mm -hmm. Love this hat. Of course, I have <laughs> pom -pom. I feel like one of those horses <laughs> in the city exactly. outside Central Park. Oh my God, it's huge. So this was a popular hat. Um, the cabling goes this way. You do a seam in the back, and then you pick up, and you shape the crown. It's a, it's a fun pattern. knit. It's shot a shot pattern, pattern. Free free pattern with the purchase. I will, I think my 
One of my goals this year is to download Patterns on Ravelry. Dinah, yeah. <laughs> Dinah has pa some patterns. To, oops, what happened? Were you there? Oh, Zombie we went dark. Dinah has some patterns to put up, but the problem is it's not that it's just it's just doing it. Administrative I, work that right, is not my forte. Right. Well, I, I even find, I'll be honest, on Ravelry, when I go to post things sometimes, if I haven't done it for a while, I'll be sitting there for Ravelry's half an hour. Not that friendly. I find it, you know, then you got to put the brackets and the parentheses, yes. and then you got to, I, I don't know, maybe it's me. But um, so I think that that's there are a what, lot of rules. Although Dinah is on there and she has patterns on there, if you don't go on all the time and do it. Yeah, so I haven't done if, it in a while. If, so. if there's something you see that you want, just call the shop. Free, it, it will be up on Ravelry, right? And Dinah? feel free, yes. I'll put our email down below. Email us. I'm very good about forwarding an email, forwarding a pattern. It's free. It's my it's pleasure free to share. Right. Um, here's another one. We did this one in Strings Dolcetto. Which is a, a cashmere blend. Which right? is a cashmere blend. This took two skeins where the Loren took one. So it, this was really popular at the show. So I was quite pleased. Um, it's it's nice. a warm hat. Yeah, it's a cute it's hat. Fun. A little different. It's fun. Yeah. So that's the Loren. So I finished those up. Mm -hmm. And I think those are all my FOs. I think so. I think that's I enough. Think I that's, did two. I good. did the swan show. Yep. And yeah, I, have, I still have a lot of whips. Yep. Unfortunately, those whips. <laughs> we all have whips. Um, okay, do you want to start with your whip? Whips? What do I have? What's my you whip? You have more than one whip. What do I have? I'm You're working on Kathy's, oh, Kathy's your friend. Sweater. Okay. Her they friend's a new grandma. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I have some whips that I've shown you before that are still whips. They haven't, they haven't left that uh, category. But my girlfriend, show progress. my girlfriend over the uh, weekend became a grandmother for the first time. Congrats. Congrats to Kathy. And um, she had asked for, uh, she wanted to commission someone to make an Irish Aran knit sweater. So I said, oh, I'll make it for you. And of course, I'm using a pattern that, it was a pattern that Joan had, did we have this? Was it from Joan or Joan told us about it? I don't have John a picture of it. it, though. I don't have a of picture course. of it. I'll show Sam's you. Sam's sweater? Sam's sweater. And this is the back of the baby sweater. What was the name of the company? Miss, was it Missoni? No. She used Mission Falls. Mission yarn. Falls. Mission Falls, But yeah. was it a Mission Falls pattern? It must have been because it was in their book. Okay. And it used their yarn. So we went on a search, and of course, we found the pattern. And, you yeah, know, it's a baby, it's so it's a small size. This is the back. I'm currently on one of the fronts. It's a cardigan. And there's a little, kind of like the shape of the Loren hat, kind of a hat. Like that a pillbox. It, like yeah. a pillbox kind of a hat. So this I need to get done, especially since the baby is here. I need to. I mean, she, the baby's she not. she early? She was about a week early. Oh, week early. But, I mean, this is not a size for her to wear right now. But still, you know, the baby's born. You want to send something. Got to get it done. You got to get it done. So that I have on my needle. As well as my Yohi Locatelli gradient cowl which I've made progress on, but it's still on my needle. But I'm not going to show you that again, because I've shown you that before. Okay. I think, I don't know what, I mean, there are plenty of things I want to start. I have a whip. Mm. This is my girl's best friend shawl. Is it on? Okay. Back on my lovely signature Swiss wool needles, mm -hmm. which we do have. Yep. So this is my, uh, I don't know if you've seen the colors. They're well, kind of getting this... washed out. Yep. But I do have, I inserted my accent. color number accent colors, CC2 and mm -hmm. CC1. So it's moving a little slowly, but. Well, you're increasing your stitches. Right? Yes, yes. And this was one of those rows where you had to make five stitches out of one. Oh. Every fourth stitch. Sounds like <laughs> something. <laughs> Sounds like Stephen West, right? On oh, that, my uh, speckle and project. Project. That's another <laughs> one I have to finish. My you didn't finish your speckle and pop? No. I thought you did. Oh. Maybe next month it'll be my. FO. I tell you, it's too much to do. You know, I find myself, I, I say, okay, I'm not going to start something Here's until I'm done. Here's a picture of the finished product. There you the go. girl's best friend. I know you're seeing a glare from the um, plastic there, but that's it. So we'll see. We'll see how that comes along. So I'm using Breathless from Shalimar Yarns. It's a lovely yarn. Mm -hmm. It's um, a cashmere merino. I think it might silk. have a little silk in there, too. Yeah. So that's a lovely yarn, beautiful blend. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend it. A little I'm luxury. It behind us, actually. Yes, actually, that's right. I'm seeing it right Those behind us. Those two cubbies us. right there with the red, uh, that one, and the one above it with the yeah, grays with the and the pinks. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot of colors. Nice colors. 
All right. Do you want to show um, what? that piece that Corey did? Oh, yeah. I was wearing this earlier in the podcast. And this is really pretty. Let's just show it before mm -hmm. you put it back on. See if they could see the metallic. Got to spot a little sparkle and glitz in it. This is a beautiful scarf. She had seen something that she liked, and she came in, and she didn't want to buy it, so we decided to replicate it. And we did a blend on yarns, and, uh, and we, used we the, pulled, it pulled another, another color away. Yeah, you think it doesn't want to go there. Did it fall? There we go. It doesn't want to stay on the table for go. some reason. <laughs> Where That's did too funny. Go? I'll find it. Here it is. It's right here. The missing skein. Yeah. And this one used... Oh, um, there you can see the glitter. Lang... Cometo. You Actually, see the, that's Lana Grossa. Oh, Lana Grossa. Oh, that's what I'm looking to take it off. Of. There you go. And then it used the Techno. From Blue Sky. From Blue Sky. And then the also from Lana is the uh, Ditto Paillettes. You see, there's your sparkle right there. So this was another colorway we pulled. That's very pretty. The With, plums, the brown, and the beige. Yeah, right. that's gorgeous. And Corey had grays, light gray, dark gray, and a, and a nice blue. Ronnie's is in the back. We just need to weave in the ends. What That's, color did she do? She went with more with um, the graphite gray and the beige. Um, like a gray beige. Beautiful. Candle. That's beautiful. nice, too. This That's I the like the gray beige. And the mm -hmm. yep. So it's been popular in the shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something new that we've been doing. Mm -hmm. We like to do new all the time. Exactly. <laughs> and original. We try. We yes, try. We definitely do. So for those of you who missed us at Vogue, we featured Asylum Fibers, and that's Stephanie Jones. Mm. She has a wonderful indie dyeing company, and you can find her yarns on her website. And if you are not inclined to buying online, you're always welcome to come in the store and see these beautiful colors. She's a fabulous dyer. Mm. She dyed a special colorway. We featured her on Insta Story. Correct. She came up with a colorway called Vitamin D, and I just have to share it because it's absolutely beautiful she was inspired by our store colors which is pink and orange mm -hmm. and then she um we sent her a picture of our magnificent one of our magnificent sunsets here in port and she combined the two and called it vitamin d getting a dose of your vitamin and she actually did say d was for dino but right yeah. Vitamin oh, it's D. A, it's nice, vitamin a nice D. Thing. It was very thoughtful and creative. So we have that dyed up in a couple is of her on, bases. Um, That's the, on her new base. Oh, this is on Maniac. Okay. That's on Maniac. Um, this is her Bedlam base, and you'll see the colorway here. And then we also have it on her fingering base, Funny Farm, which is an MCN. And I actually have it all caked up here, ready to go out. Someone is going to knit up a vitamin D sweater. Yeah, so that's nice. pretty that's creative. Perfect. Yes, very, it's, it really is perfect. She had also had a super bulky yarn called Grandiose. We have it actually have over it? there, yeah. That we really only have about what, a couple more left. skeins left. This yarn flew. When I say flew, she, we don't even have the Grandiose gold, so you should check that out on her website. It's this thick chunky yarn she actually did she did a modified betty cowl which was unbelievable yeah that was lovely look at this how and lovely then she put one is. of our pom-poms on it and it was fabulous this is vitamin d isn't it yeah that's the, the vitamin, vitamin d. d so we have about two skeins of grandiose less left and the grandiose gold is totally gone totally gone so we're going to reorder it but if you need to get your hands on it right away you have hundreds. to have it. Yeah, she as you said, she did the Betty Cow. Yep. Lovely. It One looked skein. amazing. She yeah. was on a 15 needle, she said. Something like that. Yep. She did the 19 stitches. Yep. And she just, boom. Yep. Put a pom-pom on it. <laughs> it she was, was fabulous. done. And of course, we can't forget our pom-poms at the show. Oh, my God. How I mean, many of those did we sell? I don't even know. I don't know, but it was a ton <laughs> of pom-poms. That was crazy. You know. I got a huge delivery. I don't think I even did an unboxing. It yeah. happened like... On they Thursday, came right they came Thursday, and we yep. just packed it for Friday. Yep. So we were fully stocked, and uh, we know that a lot of people like to come back and check out our pom poms. So that right. was very big. Right. So that was a big one. Um. So let me just show you a couple more colorways in her bedlam base. I know that I had showed showed you a few, but this is bedlam. It's a nice chunky. She does a beautiful brioche cowl, and you can certainly use any two colors that give you a contrast to do that. Right. And Lavanya Patricella, I hope I said your name correctly. She has a sweet um, brioche bandana. Like a brioche bandana, correct. Cowl. Right. So that's really nice. Right. 
I covered the Maniac yarn and then she's got beautiful MCN and we've got amazing colors. So Let's if you're thinking that. of nice anything and then I mean you could do shawls, you could do the boxy sweater, you could do anything. Um, anything. I know that And it's yeah, it's 80 ca 80 merino, 10 cashmere, 10 merino. Lovely. Kind of hard to get all of them in, but let's see what I can do here. So this is new back in the shop. And I have these here. So if you're interested, come on in and get them. Mm -hmm. Asylum Fibers. We love you, Stephanie. So that was a big hit at the show as well. Yes. Everyone loved her fibers. Yep. Embrace your crazies. <laughs> <laughs> Asylum. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So what else did we have at Vogue? We had the Autumn and Indigo kits, which did really well. And... Some of the popular colorways were the plums. We were heavily stocked on plum. And put around. let's see if I can maybe take it out of the there. plastic. I'm sorry that it's probably really loud. I'll try not to That's move good. it too much. But lots of variations in the plum family. So if you're interested in picking up a comfort fade kit, you certainly can do that. Let me get the crinkly away from the <laughs> camera. And I'm wearing the cashmere melt away, which mm -hmm. I designed. Mm -hmm. It's done in the jade sapphire cashmere. And for the show, we came up with some new colorways. This is the plum. It's packaged and sealed, so I don't want to rip the packaging open. But this is the plum colorway. So if you're interested, you can always give it's us a eight, holler. Is it eight skeins? One, two, eight three, skeins. Four, five, six, seven, eight. four solids, four mm -hmm. variegated. Mm -hmm. This is the original colorway, which is the one that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. And again... The lighting might be off. And then we have another new colorway. It's the neutrals with grays. Always popular, the neutrals. Yep. Yeah. So where I'm wearing one with khakis. This one has more of the gray, gray variation in between. So that's the cashmere melt away. And what else do we have to talk about? I don't know. I mean... I mean, we, we wrote some things down about people we saw at the show or things we noticed at the show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? We spoke about Vogue Live. I'm so sorry. I have to extend a very, 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 very special thanks to, to Kathy and Heather from Not House Yarns. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be inserting a picture. It is not a picture that we took at Vogue. It turns out that during setup when... Kathy and Heather came by. They were gracious enough to help me set up because I was having some operating difficulties <laughs> with my POS system. And um, Heather is in incredible. She just takes charge. And <clears throat> I asked her for help, and she was just, yep. bam, right on it. Yep. So I do want to insert a picture. I want to say a public thank you. I can't thank you enough. You guys are amazing. It was so fun to see you guys. I wish we could have stopped to take a picture, but you guys, it was busy during the show, and when you walked by, I guess we just we, couldn't really right. stop. Well, we didn't really um, think of the it, booth think was the full. Mm -hmm. um, so we're sorry we didn't even get to give you a hug goodbye, but we know you got home safely because we've spoken to you since then, and just a special shout-out. We got to see Chelsea Pearls, Christina yes. and Miriam. It's one, of the, well, <laughs> one of the things is that we, we did see there were a – uh, a nice number of local yarn shops there. Yes. From Brooklyn and, um, New, well, Chelsea Pearls is in New Jersey. And we saw Skank Cocaine. Skank Cocaine. She's down in uh, Roanoke. Roanoke. So, we saw String Thing Studio in Brooklyn. Yeah. And there was, I met Gigi Made It. Gigi that was exciting. It, yeah. and, and Alex I, Creates we met. Yes. Yeah. Christy Glass. I was very yeah. excited to finally meet her. I missed her at Rhinebeck. Of course, I never finished my Rhinebeck sweater in time for Rhinebeck, but I did meet her at VKL, so that was fun. So we got to see, we took some pictures with um, Chelsea, well, not Chelsea, Chelsea Pearls is the shop, with Christina and um, Miriam. Miriam, and um, that was the best foursome we had that day. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we were there, and Gina walks up from a skin cocaine, and she's like, hey, Pam Sap. <laughs> So I need a stage it? name. Who is this? I'm just the knitting place. we got to come up with something. So We have to come up with a name for Dinah. Leave me How a comment. How about the big D? <laughs> the big D. We'll call it a big know. D. What does that sound? How does that sound? Anyway. We're taking comments. 
<laughs> suggestions, suggestions. Nice suggestions. Be nice. But uh, <laughs> putting myself out there on there social go. media. So Better I'm be sure careful. Be, I'm sure it'll be nice. But one thing we did notice there were a lot of people there this year. I don't know if the number of vendors dis people displaying went up this year. It must have. Well, yes, people were displaying. I mean, people had booths before in the, the hallway. Right. And and th I don't were, think that's a, that it's ever been done before. Right. There were a lot of small people there, um, like Shelly Can and Junk Yarn were there. They were sharing that a booth. Exciting. That mm -hmm. was nice. And White White uh, Barn Farm was there. Magpie Fibers. Magpie Fibers was Stephen there. Stephen and Penelope were right. there. That Nick, was huge. Nick Collage was there. Nick Collage was there. Who else did we see that was new? Clinton Hill. Yes, we're going to have Clinton Hill in the Clinton shop. Clinton Hill. The word that, that goes with Clinton Hill is cashmere. We're very excited for Becky to come in. We're going to do a trunk show and launch her new cashmere. We are so excited to have that here in the shop. So right. save those bucks. Yep, yep. <laughs> cashmere bucks, right? Cashmere bucks. So there were a lot of people at Vogue that, um, a lot of, I want to say smaller people, yes. you know, that you would that had never been there before. Was Hugh made there? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. There were so many names and so many fibers. Unfortunately, we didn't walk through the whole show. I wanted to really spend some more time actually going through so that I can bring the new yarns into the show because that's that's right. opportunity, right. Um, especially if they're not going to be, or I'm not going to be at TNNA. And if I'm not going to see them in June, it makes it hard for me to. Because they don't, the small people don't go to TNNA because it's such a, right. an expense for them. So they won't be there. So you don't have the opportunity to see no. their yarns. Um, I was going to say, I was in the ladies room early Sunday morning at uh, Vogue. And I heard from someone who was working at the uh, Stephen and Penelope booth that, La Bien Me, who was at their booth, was totally sold out. That's and incredible. that would have been the one the one of the things I would have gotten. And we get there early, but we're setting up. I mean, well, there's I mean, no you way know, we but, can even... I probably really... I mean, I, I should have gone Friday night if I wanted La Bien Me, probably. Right. But really we were swamped it, on but Friday. But you couldn't, yeah. And then, we you know, swamped. you're just tired at the end of the day. We were so swamped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And tired, but it was so awesome. A shout out to Harmony's mama. It was nice to meet you, Colleen. <laughs> I mean, the names are escaping me, but I know the stage names or the Ravelry and social media names. Yeah, yeah. But all the people that we see, it was really nice. Yeah, it was a fun. It was a fun. It although it is tiring, it's always a lot of fun. Yes. So that's why it, it's it's it makes it worth it. Should we do two booths or one? That's the big <laughs> question. I am for two. I think we need to do two booths. Well, also, the booth location that we have is a really nice location. We're right at the base of the stage where they do the fashion shows. Yes. And, and um, they do location. fashion shows, and they have talks with some of the designers and, you know, whatever is going toss. on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if you know, just to expand that to two booth sizes, I think it will enable us to bring more. Of course, we always, this always happens every year, the last minute. It's we very should tight bring this. In our booth. We should bring that. We should, you know, th there are things we know we can bring, but it's just a matter of space. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to do a giveaway. What are we giving away, Diana? What are we giving away? How about we give away one skein of Grandiose from Asylum Fibers in our colorway, vitamin D? Why don't we do that? We can do that. You could also give them the Betty pattern. With we'll it. give you the pattern. And give them a pom pom. And a pom pom to go with it. So you can have your own Betty made out of grandiose. Have Sounds that awesome. Sound. I love it. In vitamin okay. D. So Talk what, about uh, last minute. <laughs> so, what are they going to do for this, Diana? They're going to comment below. And you must subscribe. You must subscribe. So, and but what, what do they need to comment on? We're checking. On? So, you really do need to subscribe. You know, someone was saying, and this is a really good idea that. Um, when they were doing this, they were not going, when, you know, people, a lot of times you guys leave comments and, and Diana will answer, or maybe sometimes I'll answer. Mm -hmm. Um, but they said they weren't going to answer because then that blends in the comments, you know, so, you know, you, you have to pick out when you're picking the winner, you don't want to count your comment, your response back to their comments as a comment. So they weren't going to respond to any of the comments that the people were leaving under the, um, the podcast. Do you understand well, what I'm saying? Yes, but you're still, 
you're still counting the person who is when you leave a comment it's that person that's actually being right. accounted for but you're not counting you don't oh, want to but count if somebody, your response in other no, words no my res, our response would not count but if right. somebody responds right. to our response it would be hard to filter through so make sure you leave right. your that's own what I'm comment saying. so what I they were what saying what say. they were trying to say is you leave your comments right. Diana's not going to answer we're not answering okay so we won't answer this so we time. won't answer we'll give you a thumbs up a like How's that sound? Sounds good. But not a not a response. But if you if you really need to um, contact us, just you know, pick up the phone, send an email. So what do they have to do? What is the? Uh, we have to come up with something. Well, I would say, um, let's think about this a second. You want them to give you a suggestion for your name? Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> I need a new social media. Diana name. wants a handle, or she, or maybe not a, new, a social media name. You're not gonna, but like a handle. Why would, would you change be, your social media name? You wouldn't be I, the knitting place. I, I don't know if you really want to change that. I don't know if you want to change that, but you could be whatever I could make. Whatever, whatever. If any, whatever your suggestions are, Diana would love to hear. Okay. <laughs> All right. This should be interesting. <laughs> It'll right. be fun. It'll we'll be have fun. fun. It'll All be right. fun. Well, I don't really have anything else to say. We're just going to get back into work. We uh, are looking forward Exciting to... Exciting things. Well, you know... Coming up. Further down the road. Busy on curl here in on Long Island. Yes, we should announce that. Right. It's in April. So it's, but, you know, if you're going to turn around, it's going to be... You know, it's going to be March. It's going to be St. Patrick's Day. And you're going to say, oh, wait a second. Right. We have you on curl coming up. But that's a lot easier. It's more days, right? It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but you're in the shop. You're not taking anything anywhere. Right. It's exciting. It's a lot of fun because we get yep. to just set everything up here, mm -hmm. make different kits. We're actually going to design something new for the yarn crawl. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I have an idea. What? Christy Glass is going to be doing a taping here on yep. February 8th. Yep. I want you guys to tell me, do I do invitation only because oh, it's a live video <laughs> or <laughs> open to the public oh. now <laughs> well i don't know you have to be careful with that because you can only handle so many people here though that's the problem that's the problem and if it's open to everybody and they can't get in it's not a big shop what are you going to do then right it can i don't get know i don't crowded. know if i would, right, I would scratch I that i don't know if i would do that but. scratch that <laughs> Sorry, but there you there you go. You found out a big. You found out something really big and exciting. Yes, that Christy Glass is coming to the knitting place. She's yes. coming to Long Island. Yes, and we have the Clinton Hill Trunk Show coming up. I will announce a date soon. As soon as I clear that with Becky, um, we are trying to focus on keeping things a little more local. So, as you know, we've had two trunk shows. We've had Asylum Fibers in the shop from Queens. Mm -hmm. We've had Lambstring, La Lambstring Yarns. Mm -hmm. Shanna is, was in from Patchogue. And <clears throat> hopefully we'll soon have uh, Becky from Clinton Hill in Brooklyn. Oh, I know something I need to show them, Diana. What? My needles. Oh, I'll yes. finish what you're saying about your local. No, we have Alex Creates. So yes. if you guys missed oh, that, we didn't show that yarn. We want to go to the public games. <gasps> oh, if yeah, you're not yeah, familiar yeah, yeah. with Alex Creates, yeah. because not everybody gets to go to Vogue. Yeah, we oh, do yeah. have some of these beautiful gradient cakes, and uh, we'll show you just a few. Pam is gonna bring us a couple. Gonna bring you a couple. Hold and on. bring it towards me. He was also at Vogue Knitting Live, and we mentioned that we saw him. Some of these great colors. Let's see if the lighting will cooperate here. So that I'm going to need to put my glasses on to read the names of these. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What does that mean? This one is called Radioactive. You read that, Diana. Yeah. I prefer <laughs> to have my glasses on. <laughs> this one here is called Orange Sherbert. Loving that colorway. Blue bombsicle. So I don't know if you could tell, but the center is dark and then it radiates. It's a gradient lighter. I want to make a hat outside. I mean, I these are so awesome. How about this How one? Look at this crazy one. grape soda. Gray with the green. I love that one. This that is called Moonwalker. Moonwalker. Love. Look yes. at this one. What? Brujita. Brujita. Which means? Did he say witch? Is that right? I think he, he said, it, he means said witch. it means witch. Yes, we asked him on our live, live Insta story. So that this was awesome. One is reclaiming my something. Reclaiming my time. Now that's a colorway for me. 
black with pink. Yeah, that's and this one is like a lemon. It's called Pucker. <laughs> Perfect name. And one more for all us New Yorkers who need to have our black and white. <laughs> yes, our black and white. It's called you can't see too much of it in there, but it's called Steel Gray. So you're white going into the yep, gray and, and black. So there are some really nice, nice and this is great for a hat. Awesome. I'm sure this one. I, think that's I didn't knit one of these up, so maybe I'll have one of these knit up by the next podcast. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's a great thing. I love this one. I love this, this yarn. I love my moonwalker. I love that one. Okay, so that's that. But what I was able to get at Vogue, I did actually I did I did get something, right? I got this. Right, but it was okay. It was planned. Well, it was planned. It was so what? What it, what it is is <laughs> back at Rhinebeck. I got myself a pair of the um, Indian Creek knitting needles, mm -hmm. straights, at size sixes. And so um, what happened was um, my birthday was in December, and it was of course Christmas. So my my lovely children <laughs> got their mother a gift certificate to Indian Lake Artisans. And, We've spoken uh, about them. I said Creek. It's not Creek. It's Indian Lake. I keep calling it Creek. Okay. I, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, we did show them on the podcast, right? So I thought I would love to get an interchangeable set. So um, someone said to me last week, you know, they're going to be at Vogue Live. And I said, what a great opportunity because I hadn't called them. So I was able to get my interchangeable. You really can't see much here. Take them out. Uh, here's one of the one of the points. I mean, really, you can't see much. These now, is are that the, a square needle? It's a hexagon. Hexagon. Hexagon needle. And do they rotate? Is that what Yeah, well, the nice thing about them is if you, when you attach them to the cord, the base, this is, you know, what happens is the, um, where it twists, you know, you would think that it's, I mean, this screws in. I'm not going to do it now. But what rotates is down here where the plastic joins the metal. That rotates, and Pam, the one of the owners, said that that's something that can only be done when needles are handmade. So these big people that manufacture needles, you can't. The only way they can attach this this cord to the needle to is to glue it, which is probably why you, why yours popped on the plane. Right, my signatures rotate. They rotate. Yeah, I'm checking them now. Yeah, so that way that rotation down yeah. there keeps it from unscrewing right the 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 join and um so anyway i'm excited and it's funny because i'm really not a wood knitter right diana i really don't knit on woods much nope I am now not. they have the two different kinds of woods what'd you get three different kinds three, of woods. Excuse well me. you think i would know the answer to that i don't I, could you get the slick <laughs> i got Did the slickest get... one what it okay. is i don't remember now is it birch it's like a birch i think it might be birch I'm not sure if it's not birch. I, you know, I don't want to misrepresent them, but um, in any event, excuse me, I got Tired. the um, the slickest ones. And the nice thing about these with these needles, they're extremely light. Like my um, my Yohi Locatelli, the gradient cowl mm -hmm. is on the straights. It is you hold that in your hand. It is so light, and it comes with three cords. You know, 24, 32, and 40. I can buy additional. My set is from three to ten and a half. Okay. But I did get an eleven. Can you put this on a sixteen-inch cable, or is the tip too long? They said they make smaller needles. I could smaller I could have tips. gotten a smaller tip, but I didn't want to get a smaller right. tip. Yeah, so uncomfortable. I think what I'm going to do. We were talking about this the other day. I think that I am going to invest in what is the set kind of we were talking about? Just mm -hmm. one of the like the smaller sets for hats. Oh, the ones from like um, from Chagu. Does Chagu have it? Chagu or higher, higher. higher, higher. Yeah, I think that that's what I'd like to get. Itty bitty sets. Right. So this was an exciting purchase for me. It's a little package, but it contains a lot. <laughs> it's really great. So, so thank compact. you. Thank you to my children. That's for a great an exciting holiday gift. Holiday gift. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah always yeah. think of them every time you use them. Exactly. There really nice. When and I they got, travel. Look at how cute their package. It's very very compact. Compact, right? It yeah. Really is. So. That's um, awesome. I'm excited about this. So uh, what That's I really want to do at. is I'm being very, look at this, I'm being very disciplined because I would like to put a project on these needles, but I need to finish my, um, oh, and the other sweater. thing, are you, did I show you this thing? I didn't think I showed you this. Look what I got. I got these things. So what, what do you call these things? Stoppers? 
so oh, that I cute. can make them straight needles if I want to. Oh, fabulous. So you put this on the end, you screw it what on. What cover is that? And I got these little... Is that an acorn? No, it's a turtle. They oh, had acorns. Cute. They it's did have acorns. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the little turtle. Very you screw cute. them onto the end of the cable and you can and use it as a straight. And then it becomes a flexi straight. That's right. very cool. Clever. So I got I did get that. I, I added that on because I thought that would be um, a valuable thing because you can Definitely. use it as a straight then, mm -hmm. right? Make it more useful. You can actually put a cable needle on pause, one on each end. Yes, yes. And then take the tips if you needed them right. and use them on a different cable side. Exactly. exactly Clever. Exactly. Very exactly. smart. So anyway, so those are my... Um, you know, I'm glancing over there. We forgot to show them the uh, the bags. We still have... Um, we got that second delivery of the oh, 65 yeah, South bag. Yeah, the 65 so these South. are very cute. If you guys are interested and you need a new tote bag, these are great knitting bags. It's from 65 South. I love this one. And uh, so it's got the a map it's of got the a newspaper print pocket inside. And this yeah, one is the map. I love, I love this the one. Map it's a map, globe. right? Isn't that great? So these are great. They were very popular at the show. We sold quite a few of them. And of course, the polka dot is always. Yeah, I'm going to show them the variety of colors okay. on the polka dot. So this one here is the gray polka dot. Then there's the plum. The red, and then the would you call that like a soft blue? I guess a soft blue, like a steel. A French a steel blue. almost looks gray, but it, it is. is a, it, yeah, it's a pretty blue. It's a pretty blue. Yep. So we got those in, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have to stay tuned. You'll have to look at our unboxings because we got a lot of new yarn in. Yes, I'm we looking did. at the boxes <laughs> over there. We have a huge delivery to unbox from Madeline Tosh, and it's just gonna take too much time, so we can't do it on the podcast. But we have. New Madeline Tosh DK and lots of new colors in the pashmina. That's right. Oh, the pashmina. Lovely. Pashmina has been restocked. That's fun. And it looks like, you know what, will you get that big box up the top? <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you. We, we received a very sweet delivery oh, today. Right? Yeah, the one on top. No, no, that one. This one? Yep. Oh, oh did you show what Mary sent us? Where is that? Uh, I'll go get it. Do you know where it is? I can get it. I, I think it's on the t that round table, but yeah. I'm not sure where. Yeah, maybe to the right, right here. Well, we got this wonderful box today. It's addressed to me and Pam and the staff. It's from Harry and David, and it is from Anita down in Florida. She's one of our snowbirds. And I have to say, a very special thanks. This was really unnecessary, but thank you so much for thinking of us. She got us a, a New Year's gift, and I just want to open it up. I wonder what kind of fruit is in here. <laughs> Maybe there's some chocolate in there. <laughs> Maybe it's chocolate and not fruit. I'm just assuming it's fruit because anytime my mom sends me a package, it's fruit. <gasps> it's it? oranges. Is it oranges? Look at this. Now we have vitamin C in addition to our vitamin D. <laughs> What did we get? Oranges? Oranges. Let me switch with you. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Anita. Oh, that was lovely. Look at these. <gasps> Oof. She winters in Florida, so this is very appropriate for her to send us oranges, right? Oh, they're cold. Yeah. Oof. I want to sink my teeth into them now. I know. We're going to have to, uh, oh, maybe tomorrow out. we'll slice them up. Reminds me of the orange that you brought to the show, and I begged you for a wedge because you couldn't get away from the booth. I brought one of my clementines to the show, and we had that. Did you find it, Dinah? I'm afraid not. Well, what, what Dinah is looking for is the gal named Mary who um, won the signature needles from our giveaway on one of the previous podcasts sent us a wonderful little card. We'll find it for the next podcast. I'll insert a photo. You know, one of the cards you get and you open it up and there's something on like little toothpicks that was knit. Well, she knit this, she knit us a little thing, wrote a lovely note, and it was the shape of the, lo shop, of logo. the shop logo, which is here. Let me just show you this. It's on the hat. The shape of the house. That's exactly so what creative. she knit up. Thank you so much. Mary, that was unbelievable. So Mary Much knitter. appreciated. <laughs> yes, yes. Very you nice. You really brought a tear to my, to my eyes. So I, I got emotional. So thank <laughs> you. That was very touching. Was very and sweet. I, unexpected. But 
We're happy you're enjoying your beautiful needles, and we can't wait to see your finished project. And we are approaching, we are coming up on 500 subscribers. I think we're at 462. Oh, really? As of this well, morning. So, you know, there has to be something after this giveaway. There has to, to be a big. super special giveaway for the um, 500. Okay. We'll have we'll to come, up, we'll have come up with it. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and please and subscribe. In. To the knitting place podcast you'll find us there's a, a button actually that says subscribe so don't forget to hit subscribe hit the button and you'll get notifications <laughs> every time we send out a new or post a new video absolutely and don't be afraid to call if you if you need anything if you want anything and so on and so forth thank you have a great night happy Bye -bye. knitting happy knitting if you if it is night where, wherever well, you're watching here <laughs> <laughs> bye now